Tumelang Tumelang. Hello and welcome to Lifestyle and Sports Hub. Today we are out here in Sentin for the third campaign of She Owns Her Success. Brought to you by Momentum. Join us as we sit down with their marketing manager, Charlotte. Hello everybody, my name is Charlotte Nsubuga Mokasa and I head up the Momentum brand marketing team. So the hashtag she owns her success campaign is in its third year. We've just completed Women's Month in August and we had three workshops. The first was on the 12th of August, the second was on the 19th and the third was on the 26th of August. And essentially these workshops were really to celebrate the achievements of women. There were a number of marketing strategies. So obviously we pushed social media. So we want Instagram. We're still gonna do Twitter spaces. We've never done it before, but we're going to try. And we did LinkedIn, we did um, uh, Facebook, for example. And we pushed the narrative, not just of the events, but actually the entire campaign. Because we knew that we had 31 days in August and we wanted to use the month of August to seed our social media, our PR channels to get the message out there. But we wanted to make one important message evident to South Africans and that we as Momentum were going to go over and beyond the month of August. And that's why we've created this new marketing channel called the hashtag She Owns Her Success Knowledge Hub which is accessible post the month of August. Anybody can go and visit there. Our competitors are invited. We don't have beef with our competitors because when it comes to women, it's the one topic that we need to unite on. So if you're interested in tools, advice, you need motivation videos, maybe you're not sure where you are on your journey to success right now, and maybe you are not able to navigate some of the barriers in your own personal life, then Google or rather go to www.momentum.co.za look for the rotating banner on the website and you'll see hashtag she owns her success click on the banner and it's going to take you to this knowledge hub that's going to be updated every month with tools that will help you financially that will help you emotionally psychology or in a psychological manner as well as if you are i don't know interested in a side hustle for example so we're going to challenge ourselves as a corporate to say how can we be enabling as a corporate to make sure that we are here for every woman's journey to success so check it out guys we've just finished our third annual hashtag she owns a success what are you going to do around COVID for season four, for example, I think we'll follow the same strategies. We would keep it digital to keep everybody safe. We'll try to make sure for our employees that we keep um, data at a low cost to make sure they can access it for a full three hours with uninterrupted uh, service. But I really believe in terms of COVID-19 that it's not necessarily a negative thing when it comes to the hashtag she owns a success workshops because we were able to use the power of social media and the power of digital to enter homes that we would not have necessarily gotten to if we kept it at our usual Santa Convention Center and so forth. So that's how we kind of navigated COVID. But we're always looking for deeper, faster ways of leveraging technology so we can make sure that the signal is strongest at any point in the country. I would love for somebody in the village to be able to watch hashtag she owns her success one day soon so let's keep hoping oh, that is such a good question and i hope to find out the real answer in 12 months time there's research that we're commissioning okay. right now in preparation for the fourth annual hashtag she owns her success because we're trying to make sure the workshop is pertinent and relevant to south african women a lot of the research that we have used thus far for season one, two, and three of the workshops has been primarily um, about people who are based abroad. But if you were to say, as a South African woman, because I am one myself, let me speak as one, yes. what are the differences? I would say, obviously, we don't have access you know, to capital as easily as our international um, uh, namesake abroad. In terms of you know, sports sponsorship, which is where momentum comes in, we could, um, the world could learn a thing or two from us. So that's where I think we are starting to take a bit of an edge ahead of what's happening internationally. And no, we, were, we aren't competing with Nike per se, but when I think of uh, the women that we are sponsoring now, like our Momentum Proteus team, when we met them eight years ago, they were not salaried, they, were, they loved cricket as a passion sport and they were doing it as a side hustle, but some of them were doctors and moms on the side and they weren't performing that well on the pitch. 
and that when we started to sponsor them and make sure that they were salaried they started to improve their game and now they're number two in the world so, but um to finalize the question when it comes to what we could learn in terms of um, south african women i would also say that internationally they are a little bit better at talking and dealing with topics such as gender-based violence they've got a little bit of a better handle on it in allowing the voiceless to have a voice and in attending to um, a, a legal battles a little bit quicker than what we do in this particular country but i'm hoping that even though we don't have the best statistics when it comes to uh, topics of gender-based violence that we are going to rise up men and women included to make sure that our children will look to us and say that our parents did a good thing in advancing the topic of gender-based violence through the tools the advice that they gave women who were finding themselves in those particular situations but we looked and said what are the causes of gbv and not looked at it in a singular fashion that for is the definition of success. Um, we normally choose a theme for the year. In this particular hashtag she earns a success theme, the third one, uh, our theme was how do we successfully get women to be empowered and overcome structural society, psychological, financial barriers, anything that's holding you back from your success. And so that's what helped us uh, even be grounded in these debates to say, but is the speaker someone who has a testimony in overcoming financial success? Yes or no? Are they an approved and agreed psychologist that understands women and how to successfully overcome barriers? And if so, what tools do they have that they make free for ordinary South Africans and anyone attending the workshop? and then we would then select them based on that and then in terms of our financial advisors we wanted women who know what it means to work with single women there are tons of single women in south africa i cannot tell you the number of single women that are raising kids so we said let's get a perfect financial advisor let's get a financial advisor that knows what it means to work with single women divorced women that has seen it all so that when she imparts her tools and her advice in the workshop she knows what she's talking about so we found people that had in my mind I always said they are speckled with um, uh, what can I call it uh, pitfalls they're not perfect people they've been through the most and we got them to be our workshop facilitators but we needed to make sure that they'd also been successful in and of themselves to make sure that when they do give tools and advice we can look at their own journey and testimony and say I want to be like her because she's inspired me that through the pitfalls through the ups and downs that she still made it and that's kind of how we selected the business women the psychologists the workshop facilitators and the celebrities those were the best those were the most interesting when it comes to the topic of mentorship the hashtag she owns a success workshop was pivotal when it came to the topic of negotiating one of the uh, workshop uh, classes that did the most in terms of the number of attendees was one that was titled negotiate the pay that you deserve and if i wasn't necessarily on the other side of the mic i think i would have registered as well i want to be able to negotiate the pay that we deserve so sometimes when you talk about uh, negotiation with it comes mentorship and i'd like to advise anybody that's interested in the topic of negotiation and mentorship come to the hashtag she owns a success knowledge hub or website look and see which facilitator was speaking to the topic of negotiation see if you can link up with that specific facilitator on linkedin to take the conversation further but also watch the classes because tips and advice were given in line with the topic of negotiation with the topic of the pay that you deserve and a little bit on mentorship i hope you enjoyed this show as much as i did from me this is lifestyle and sports hub till next time